Hey, let's talk about the new Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez comic from Devil's Due Comics. Is it a uh, cash grab? Is it a political love letter? A little of both? Let's look at it and talk about it, shall we? So, uh, if you don't know AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she's the new freshman uh, in the House of Representatives. Uh, who unseated a long-held Democratic seat in uh, in Brooklyn and has sort of taken the country by storm by, you know, being a Democrat who's not afraid to be a liberal, right? Who's not afraid to have unapologetically progressive ideas. Agree with them or not, and I don't agree with all of them. I, I believe that her heart is in the right place. I think that she genuinely wants to make this country a better place for... Um, for uh, the entire world and for her generation and 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 we'll see if she's able to get some traction in that right so as for the comic i'm a little more qualified to judge the comic there's multiple covers available i'm not sure i like that that lends towards the cash grab angle but what are you gonna do right um the barack obama comic that came out whatever year that came out uh i sold hundreds of them at my comic book store and so uh, I gave a tip to my local store, Scruffy Nerf, Nerd Herder in Eureka, to uh, stock up on this. So if you're looking for a copy and you're in the Humboldt County area, definitely go uh, check out Scruffy. And uh, I, I'm not sure if you got all the covers or not, but uh, we're going to take a look at my copy and and see what uh, see what we see, right? So this might be, if you're more of a conservative, right-leaning type, this might be the sort of car comic you're used to seeing about Ocasio-Cortez. She's got a reputation as a big mouth, uh, saying a lot of stuff, and, and maybe not always being the best informed on all the issues. I, I honestly think it's um, most of that is kind of baloney. A lot of her ideas, you know, might not hold up to super careful scrutiny, but uh, the the um, the sort of vitriol being levied against her by the extreme right Republican side is clearly out of fear because they know her ideas are popular and really resonate with millennials and millennials are the largest generation to come along in a long time. Their politics are going to shape the future of this country. So uh, it's pretty important to think about that. So um, let's take a look at the comic itself though, right? And to do that, we're going to try uh, a, a new feature here. We're going to go to the remote comic can. So let's take a look at what we got. Oh, AOC. Hi. Uh, we're taking a look inside the comic. And, you know, it's not, it doesn't have an official um, introduction by AOC, right? She's not involved with this in any way. I'm not sure if any of the money goes to charity or anything like that, or if this is just a straight up devil's do, let's cash in kind of scenario. And, and, and I think that's probably okay too, if it is. Uh, there's some nice stuff in here, like this uh, Red Sonia number one sort of parody cover. But as you'll see, the art really differs. There's a bunch of different stories. And this is uh, not exactly what I was expecting, right? I was expecting more of a kind of straight up political biography, maybe, talking about our political ideas. But really what this is, is like, it's like um, a fan fiction. It's like, um, let's pretend uh, AOC's a wrestler. And and put her on the team. Put her on a team with Maxine Waters and uh, and uh, other progressives, and facing off against such cleverly named opponents as Big Oil and Big Pharma, as we see them try to take out Bernie. In this panel, right? And if we keep going, though, we're going to see a number of different styles parodying, usually parodying different comics. We've got some sort of uh, filler pages with extra little kind of. Mad Magazine style, political humor, uh, poking fun at conservatives mostly, and, and that's and that's fine. That's great. Uh, the, the stuff in here, though, the, the comics themselves, there's definitely not much political content other than sort of lip service uh, towards progressive ideas, and I guess that's okay for a comic. There is some naughty language. Sorry, kids. Uh, and and a, a few different styles of varying quality, right? We're gonna see all kinds of different stuff in here. We're gonna see uh, progressive politics on display. We're gonna see conservative politics, 
getting uh, maligned, and we're going to see uh, a bunch of different comics creators giving their take on AOC. I think comic creators probably, like a lot of artists, are tend towards the more uh, progressive liberal side. And so um, they really took to this. You can see the people having a lot of fun that worked on this comic. And I, I'm not going to say it was the funniest or best comic that I've ever read. But man, I've read a lot worse. And if you're in to AOC, it's worth checking out, right? Check out, find out, first find out if your local comic store even carried it. Did they order it? Did you ask them to order it? You know, um, if this is something you're interested in, in, in seeing at your store, sometimes you gotta go talk to the store owner. You know, I went to, to, to uh, John at Scruffy Nerd Herder and said, Look, I think you should take a chance on this. Don't go crazy. Don't bet the farm on it. But um, knowing that progressive politics here in Humboldt County um, are, are are very popular, I'm assuming that she's got a lot of fans, and I'll, I'll bet you people would be into it and 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 would like being able to, um, you know, purchase some kind of like souvenir or memorabilia about her. And uh, so this is your chance, right? Devils do Alexandria Casio Cortez comic uh it's worth checking out right uh whether you're into politics or not uh comic can be fun and 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 there's a, a history of political comics right the barack obama comic that i talked about but you know we can go all the way back to reagan's raiders and uh uh all kinds of different comics that have celebrated presidential and other types of politics in general so uh Go check this one out, won't you? And hey, speaking of checking things out, if you like this video, you might like some of my other videos. So please go check them out. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and ring the bell if you're interested in getting notifications when I drop new videos. Thank you for watching.